Encanto in one minute. Let's talk about it. A young couple, Alma and Pedro, are forced to flee to escape conflict in their home of Colombia. Pedro doesn't make it. Overcome by grief from Alma's candle sprouts La Casa Marigal, a mountain valley surrounding it. They call it a miracle or an Encanto. Hey, that's the, the title of the... Decades later, Alma's family is so big she's an abuela now. Each member of the family is granted a superpower when they come of age and everyone in their village high-key treats them like gods, which is as off-putting as it sounds. After granddaughter Mirabel is harassed by the local youth, she's forced to admit that she's the only one who didn't get a gift. She's only a little salty about it. Later, she sees Casita falling apart, but Abuela ignores her concern. While investigating, she finds a future vision from her tío Bruno, who disappeared. Someone whom everyone talks about so little, they sing a whole banger about him that topped the Billboard charts. Also, Bruno's been living in the walls of the house this whole time, and he's actually just a sweet little baby short king that plays with rats. With his help, Mirabel sees that the future of Casita lies with her, and that everything's falling apart because of Abuela's impossible expectations her family has to live up to. She argues with Abuela, and that Casita falls on top of them. Everyone loses their gifts, and Abuela and Mirabel have a heart-to-heart -heart where they reconcile. The whole family and village rebuild Casita Sans powers. When Mirabel adds the last touch, Casita roars back to life, and everyone gets their abilities back. It's revealed that Mirabel's gift is that she, in fact, holds the spirit of the 